Today a professional bird guide will tell you his story and his view of Colombia. Welcome to Colombia! Today we are in Casa Platibus. Thank you for hosting us for today's talk. Casa Platibus is also in my neighborhood and it's situated right at the entrance to La Candelaria, the historic town of Bogota, right next to the Parque de los Periodistas. So it's actually the perfect ubication if you're going to move around. It's an old house with nice rooms, you have a, it's, it's a mix between hostel and hotel. You have uh, single rooms, you have double rooms and you also have dormitories. Today I want to introduce you Today I want smile. Today I want to introduce Today I would like to introduce you to Jerome. He's also in other videos uh, where we did some uh, traveling, searching for birds in Colombia. He's a professional bird guide and he's uh, actually bird nuts. He's really a hardcore birder also. And yeah, why don't you just uh, present yourself? Hi, thanks a lot. Yeah, my name is Jerome, as Frank mentioned before, Jerome Fisher, Swiss native uh, birding hardcore for more than 32 years now. Um, and always being uh, focused on bird identification, traveling. Uh, it started uh, in Switzerland and then exploring more and more till um, discovering the, uh, the most biodiverse, especially for birds and most other organisms, uh, continent, which is uh, South America. From there onwards, I started to expand my knowledge about neotropical bird. Um, traveling through uh, big parts of South America um, and finally uh, deciding that decision took place last year to move not only to travel and to visit Latin America but to move here to make myself a home as a uh, freelance guide um, as well committing myself to other uh, projects um, linked to uh, linked to sustainable tourism. So Sharon and I, we have some things in common. We both grew up in Switzerland. We have the same age. And the two of us, we decided to leave Switzerland and uh, living abroad for different reasons. But although we are having like a wonderful life, uh, there is also some sacrifice. Being away from the family, being away from the friends. Um, He's still single, so all the girls who are looking for the birder. So the birder girls, you can write in the comments and I will pass the, the phone number. And uh, let's see, we might connect uh, you with, with Jerome. Also, myself, I'm working day and night. I'm, I'm happier than ever, but I'm working day and night. I'm also single, so you can also <laughs> put that in the comments. Uh, besides that, so uh, yeah, Jerome, he contacted me through uh, a common friend and was telling me that he's coming to South America, Colombia for birding and I just invited him, he stayed in my house for a couple of months, he came to a trip with us. He's not only experienced in neotropical birds but also now in Colombia. So what I'm interested in, uh, you as a professional, you know different countries in Middle and South America what makes Colombia so special in, in terms of birds? Colombia is still like unexplored in many places. There is many places with a huge biodiversity which lack infrastructures, which in turn uh, other countries like Ecuador, Peru are a step further. Colombia has a way to go till we will get to that point. But that makes, for me, a country uh, very, very appealing and interesting. And as well, the element of discovering rare birds, who knows, maybe even new to science, as happened in the last couple of years here in Colombia. So what we see right now, we have mostly hardcore birders coming to Colombia in the, in the recent years. Why should uh, birders come to Colombia which are not that hardcore, which also want to have a luxury lodge? Once you reach an interesting area, good birding hotspots, there are so many. 
um, everything is right at your doorsteps because um, Colombia has said uh, let's put pressure on by general tourism birds birds are birds are everywhere so that makes it very special and in some places easy as well to watch birds maybe easier than in some other places or countries you brought us some books those are the most important books if you come to colombia for birding can you say something about them of course yeah that's the birds of colombia from miles mcmullen and that's from fernando ayerbe quinoes um, that book is slightly newer um, it has better uh, illustrations, I think. Well, that's always subjective. I won't get into detail of comparing them, but um, the illustrations appeal a little bit more or are more correct for difficult, difficult families or genres than that one. This is more artistical. This one as well is available in English and gives you as well some identification details in text. That one's lacking. That one's lacking any identification text except for a quick introduction of genres. Um, it has um, up-to-date distribution maps. And as you can see, the quality of the illustration is really, really high. And that helps for identifying um, very difficult families. Having that said, um, maybe it needs to have a little bit more knowledge about neotropical birds because there is no text at all. Not about voice, not about um, identification detail, which in some species would be crucial. You will find that here in that book that gives you um, some information about song, call, and um, distribution as well, or uh, behavior behavior features as well but um, the um, paintings the illustrations are a little bit um, less accurate less detailed than the other one still both um, books are an invaluable source of information uh, if you opt to visit Colombia for ornithology either pick for you will be a very good pick what would you suggest to people coming here to Colombia for birding how should they organize their trip uh, planning of a trip with such a huge uh, avifauna or biodiversity is always key and crucial. There is many good um, tour operators and one of the best hopefully is just rising right now that uh, we are talking to, you are talking to with. And um, it always helps to take a guide or to book a guide in advance to get in contact with somebody who has a deep knowledge, not only of country, of the culture, of the language, but also of the very complex avifauna. So in terms of booking, yeah, the birders, they have different possibilities. You can either go with one of the most famous agencies out of England or the US. For example, if you go with, let's say, BirdQuest. So they will also stretch out to uh, operator in Colombia, which takes over all the operations. So you have a layer on top. What you will get is probably uh, one of their famous guides or photographers or whatever. I personally, I don't see a benefit for going with a big foreign company because lots of your money you're going to spend will stay in, let's say, England or the US, where this company is based. In Colombia, we have today some very good companies, not just my new brand, which is called Sula. Here's the link. Um, we also have established good companies like uh, Birding Colombia, Colombia Birding, Tyrona Birding, Mannequin. Those are all excellent companies that offer you a complete package uh, that can advise you on the regions of all the birds. And those are all Colombian companies with Colombians. And this is also something Colombia needs. It needs direct access to tourism for development. Because if you're going to contract Colombian-based companies, they make sure that in the regions you also have development, that you have investments in, in the use, that new guides are developing, that people see a career in, in becoming bird guides and so on and so on. So I advise you, not just with me, but whenever you're thinking of going on a bird tour to Colombia, keep in mind directly booking with the Colombian company. If you Google it, you will, you will find them. 
make your due diligence that's important check their homepage their social media talk to them talk to them before taking a decision you have to be sure this is the right person so let's talk about your favorite regions and your favorite birds in Colombia um, definitely my uh favorite biogeographic region is um, the Chocó, the Chocó era, the Chocó biogeographic region. It has um, a lot, a lot of endemism, original endemics. It shares that bioregion with Ecuador and even Eastern Panama as well. Um, there's some country endemics which are like very colorful, very spectacular. Some of them are very rare. Some of the Choco birds are not necessarily endemic, but still very rarely encountered. Um, another favorite area for me is the Amazon. Um, still very wet and humid, of course, um, but a little bit less rainy. And um, lowlands, the Choco reaches from sea level up to um, about 2,000 meters, and Colombia is uh, as well known uh, for having huge tracts of Amazon rainforest. And that's probably, after all, the biome I know best, uh, having traveled to uh, several sites in the Amazon rainforest. Uh, so these are my two most favorite areas here in Colombia the Amazon part and the Choco biogeographic region. That's interesting. Those, I would say, are regions a bit more difficult to travel but when you for example considering traveling with your family your girlfriend your wife your kids who are not too much into birding there are also many regions actually where there is not just birding you go to the coffee triangle which is one of the hot spots in terms of birding in Colombia and there's lots of different things to do like going on a coffee farm hiking uh, horse riding it's one of the most beautiful regions in Colombia too. You can go to the Caribbean coast, uh, Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta, you also have lots to do. You have the Parque Tayrona. The Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta is the highest coastal mountain range and there's lots of activities you can do. You can uh, just hang out in Santa Marta. Um, Colombia is very cool because there is so much stuff you can do besides birding and it offers so much and it's not spoiled by tourism so far, it's not overrun, um, which makes it very, very cool because the interaction with people, it's very normal, it's very authentic. So, Sharon, your favorite three birds in Colombia, what's your pick out of over 1,900 different bird species? Difficult question, but let's see. Well, almost impossible to answer, but um, I won't put them in uh, sequence. But three birds I love is um, one is the banded ground cuckoo. It's a very rare bird, terrestrial bird. Um, it has a myth of uh, being almost invisible, uh, a ghost of the forest. I've been uh, fortunate enough to see that species, and it's actually a very interesting one. Um, a very nice bird as well from Eastern Colombia, Amazon biome, is the Guinean cock of the rock. It's a very um, brightly colored bird of the family of the Katinga. It has a special uh, um, display behavior, so-called legs, where many males uh, gather together in order to attract females. Another bird I love is um, the gold-ringed tanager. Is a um, bird of the Choco biogeographical region and um, despite being an endemic bird quite easy to observe observe at specific sites so if you're considering traveling to colombia for a birding tour and also wait Sharon, you speak swiss german you speak german you speak french you speak english you speak portuguese you speak spanish that's it that's it <laughs> only six yeah as I said, if you consider traveling to Colombia, uh, I'm more than happy to help you. You can contact me directly. If you want to include Sherom as a professional guide, uh, no problem. He, we're working together. Uh, also, the plan is in the future to, to build up that business. And yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like that video, give us a like. And if you like the channel, subscribe. We will publish more videos for birding. 
Uh, we will travel to more regions in Colombia to see what we're gonna find in terms of bird species. We'll try to discover new species, of course. <laughs> let's see if that's going to happen or not. It would be very cool, difficult, but let's see. And uh, yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and uh, hopefully seeing you soon in Colombia. Bye bye. See you hopefully soon in the field. Thank you.